Okay, so here it is. This is the part that I want to be able to print out on multiple pieces of paper at a one-to-one -one scale so I can make a template for it. Uh, to start, if you don't have it in the orientation that you want to print it in, go ahead and do that. I just click on the little uh, movie clip thing over here on the right side, and I choose the view that I want. There we go. I want that top view. You can choose whatever view you would like. This is the one I want for now. And when you print from SketchUp for web, it prints to PDF. And I don't have a printer that will print right to the edge of the page. Um, and the PDF that it creates doesn't allow you to do that anyway. It, it has a half inch margin of unprintable area all the way around. And for me, that's what makes it difficult to line up the different pieces of paper after I print them out. And I'll show you in a bit. Um, so what I do is I draw a rectangle the size of the printable area. So if you're working with an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, um, you would deduct a half an inch from the top and the bottom and from the left and right. So really you're just deducting an inch. So you would have a seven and a half by 10 inch rectangle that you draw, but I'm working in millimeters. So I have to deduct 25.4 millimeters from both. So for me, I'm going to draw a rectangle right here that's going to be 184.6 comma 271.6 okay so there's a rectangle with my printable area and I'm using a um, an A4 sheet of paper once I have my rectangle drawn Um, I like to make it a group, but I want to get rid of that mesh in the middle because if if I select the whole thing, right, and I move it over, oh, maybe actually I'm lying. Let's see, get it in place. Let's see. Oh no, I guess it works. I thought it was going to conceal the drawing under it, so I'll just leave it like that. But let me back up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to, I want to make it a group anyway, because I don't want each little line to be individual. So go like that and make it a group. Oh, I think this is now, this is when it's going to conceal my item. Nope, I'm still lying. Anyway, I'm no expert, but I figured if I'm having this problem, maybe somebody else is having a similar issue. So I take the whole thing I position it over my part that I want to print out. There's one. Now I'm going to make a copy, but because it's already selected, I'm going to hit the M key for move. And I'm going to click to move it from that corner. But instead of moving it, I'm going to hold down, I'm going to press the Alt key once. And that lets it know I want to make a copy. And I'm going to copy it right to there. I'm going to hit the M key for move again. I'm going to select that corner and then I'm going to hold, press the Alt key once to make a copy. I'm just going to repeat this process until I have my entire piece that I want to print out encompassed in printable areas. And the reason I'm doing it this way is when I print it out, I want the left and right edge of the paper to be aligned. I can show you what I mean about that later as well. So now that I have the whole thing um, covered with my printable area rectangles, I go over here to the menu. I'm going to choose print. The size paper that I'm using is right there. It's A4. Um, I don't want to do current view. I want to go print to scale. I want one millimeter to equal one millimeter. So I'll hit enter. Now this is important, you don't want to, well it doesn't matter, if you mess up, if you see how I got the rotate tool on, if I rotate this and mess it up, um, I can just go back over here to the right and fix the orientation, so I guess it's not a big deal. But you hold down the shift button and you get the pan tool and you can drag your first printable area square into view. And what I do is I very gradually move the mouse until I see the lines of my rectangle on the left. It just disappeared, right? So if I gently move it to the right, 
you see the right one disappear and it's a little fussy but now I have them both in view and I'm going to shift it up until the top line disappears. It's tricky, it's not easy to do. But SketchUp doesn't really give me any better option, trust me. Or, or actually, if there is a better option and you know about it, please let me know. So I have all four lines of that printable area rectangle in view right now. So that is what's going to print. And it's going to print at a one-to-one -one scale. And this little square here is a 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter square that I drew. And I just like to measure it after I print it to make sure that it actually did print out properly because I don't want to glue this all down to some wood and cut it out and have it come out wrong because I didn't check it. Okay, so there it is. Then you have to print a PDF. So I'm going to print out the PDF. It's preparing to print. Okay, so there it is. I can click on it. I can open it up. And then I can print that to my printer. Now I'll go back to SketchUp. And I'm going to go to File, Print. Looks like it's remembered my settings, but now I'm going to hold down the shift key and pan to my second printable area rectangle. And I'm going to move it so that all four lines are just barely visible. I mean, it's tricky, but it's, it's not impossible. It's not that hard. If I can do it, I think just about anybody probably could. little bit of patience. Yeah, I'm right there. And we're talking the thickness of a printed line. So if it's not 100% perfect, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I, I want to be accurate. But if if my part when I'm done making it is off by a millimeter or so, that, that's not the end of the world for me. Maybe for someone else. But for me, for this process, uh, this is going to work just fine. Print to PDF. And it's nice, it just dumps all your PDFs. I guess if you're using Chrome, it dumps them all right at the bottom of the page. And then you can click on it, and it opens it up as a tab at the top and brings up the print menu automatically for you. I'm not going to print it right now. I'm going to go back to SketchUp. I'm going to go back to the print command. And I am going to hold down the Shift button. And I am going to drag this up to my third printable area. Get that rectangle in view. There it is. All four lines are visible. That's my printable area. Let go of the buttons. Print to PDF. Open it up. Pops it right in the browser for me. I'm not going to print it right now. I'll go back to SketchUp and I'm going to go ahead and get my last printable area. So I'm going to print. And Move it up. That's pretty good right there. I have all four lines of that printable area in view. Let go of the buttons. Print to PDF. I got my browser. Okay, so I'm going to print these out and then I'll come back and show you why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so here it is with my new method. I still have the same issue. I can't overlap the paper and perfectly align them because I can't see through well enough. I never can. Maybe if I backlit it or something, but I, I do this enough that it's just annoying. So I've been looking for a way to make this happen a little better. So I'm going to try cutting it right on that line. I'm going to do this to the best of my ability. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now that I've got that one cut, it should match up on the left edge here. So what I was going for is I want the edge of the paper 
to line up. It's still not as easy as I'd like it to be. I guess if I had a borderless printer, that's the way to go. Yeah, that's kind of irritating that that's printed right there. It's right in my way of where I'd want to line it up. Um, but that, that looks good. This edge is aligned. And that edge over there is aligned. It looks like it's not 100% perfect, but I think it might be good enough. And so there it goes. I just tucked it in a bit. Yeah, but see now it's off right there. Yeah, this is super annoying. I want it to uh I want it to be easier than the SketchUp. So if you're listening, help us out. Alright, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I could just throw down some tape there. And uh, I have an aligned pattern. Uh, this is it's easier than what I was doing before. I hope this helps somebody, uh, but it's still not as easy as I'd like it to be. So here it is all laid out and all lined up. This worked out well. It's going to accomplish the job that I need to do with it. I apologize for the shadows here in the video. If you like the content that I'm providing, I'd really appreciate it if you just click like and subscribe if you want to see future videos. See you on the next one.